Okay guys, I'm back again. We're gonna do a second video. Um, this time, hopefully the other one downloaded and you guys are probably seeing it by now. Um, it's about two books, two good books to get. Okay, let's get started. Today what we're gonna do is we're going to focus um, on Loomis and the way Romero draw, you know, draws his heads, uh, you know, the front view, the side view, the three-quarter view, the profile, all that stuff, all that good stuff. And uh, let me get some more paper here because we got to practice a lot of stuff here. So we already did some figure drawing. Maybe we'll do some, some stuff on figures. Let's see what happens. All right, so I already showed you some stuff on Ron Tyner and uh, Joseph Shepard. And this time we're gonna do some heads. All right, this is stuff that, uh, that many of you probably are familiar with. Um, but actually, I'm going to start doing the front view in a different way, and it's going to be the, uh, the Loomis style. We'll start with a circle. Oh, there goes that dog again. And the worst part is that I have the windows open because there's no air conditioning today. Can you believe that? The air conditioning broke. And it is crazy hot. But uh, luckily in the kitchen, this is where I do my videos in the kitchen. I got two fans, ceiling fans, the ones that go around. Those are pretty good, but it's not going to cool you off, but it's better than nothing. So, so I want to make sure... The alignment is okay. Where did I put my own areas? So I want to make sure that that this is the same. A little bit off. Has to be a little bit down. The mouth line will be around here. All right. So what I did here is. This is actually from one of uh, Romero's latest videos. And I'm going to try to make it a little bit simple to understand. That I noticed that uh, when he did the front view, um, sort of like using the Loomis uh, method, he actually sliced the head. And I, I've shown you guys this before, that you can actually taper in. But he never did this before. Or maybe I, maybe I uh, missed it or something, but I don't think he did this one before. But anyway, I'm going to show you again. You sort of like taper in on the sides and actually gives a better, more form to the face. And then what he did was he started working with the eyebrows. Then he did the line for the eye. Then right here, what well, the next thing he did is, um, actually, no, wait a minute. He did the segments for the nose first and then he did the line for the eye, yes. Then he did... He went up and he did little tiny vertical lines for the eyes. Then he did the cheek lines here. And then he did the jaw. So let's see, let's try this out to see how this works. And let me get my um, favorite eraser here. I love this. It's like a, an eraser pen. And let's get you need to do eraser. And I'm, I don't, um, I'm not going to finish no drawings. What, what, we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to work with the method and, you know, do a little bit of everything, but we're not going to finish any drawing. So, so I'm not going to finish anything. I'm just going to do work with the techniques. And that's what we're doing. We're actually practicing uh, different ways how to draw. So he did something like that. He did the eyebrows right here. And the segments for the side of the um, eyes. Then right here, he did the length of the nose. Right here, he does 
the eye, the line for the eye, the segments for the eyes, and then the cheekbones right there. Into the mouth and the chin right here. So this will be the f the temple part of the head right here, and the ears. Then he rounded off the shape of the head. See? Yeah. Oh, the shape of the head. And then he tapers in. Does the shape of the jaw. You can do a circle for that jaw if you want. Now, you could erase some of these, uh, you know, construction lines that you don't need. And the problem with the black pencil is that it's kind of hard to erase all these lines that you don't need. That's why you got to draw lightly in order to erase better. So that way you'll be able to erase your drawing better. And some of the circles you have to erase, of course. I have an idea what we're doing here. And then we'll do the bridge of the nose. Center of the nose. The planes where the eyes are. It's very important. the ears a little better the mouth the eyes sure I get this right because I, I usually lately I've been very fascinated with the box technique I like using the box technique even though this method you know I like using the Loomis method uh, especially doing the front view but I love doing using the Loomis method uh, doing the uh, three-quarter view more than the front view I don't know why, but um, it is, I mean, you know, it's just some people are different, I guess. I don't know. Um, now, this is more like the basic way, the way Romero, because Romero was actually showing us the way Loomis would do it, you know, the way he's it. But you could do it like this also. You can do it. Like this. And what you're gonna do is you actually you could actually work with the center of the face and then just start working out from the outside too at the same time. Or you could just you know do the shape of the head. Pretty much like I showed you before. You could you know do the shape of the jaw like that. And then right here would be the shape of the head, the shape of the jaw, like that. And then right here, the shape of the head. It's sort of like the same process, but it's sort of like a, a, a shortcut, so like that. Or you can do it like this also. Let's do a 
big circle. Let's use the ruler this time. face is three parts and then you can actually um, bring it across like that across like that, like that and then do the box shape Then you can actually start shaping the head. Deeper in the face, all the way down to the jaw. All the way right there, see? So the box shape actually works out pretty good if you want to do it that way. And then you can start, like always, you can start with the nose, the eye line, in the corner of the nose, you go up, do the eye line right there, work with the eyebrows, and then do the eyes. So I'm not going to draw, you know, finish the drawing. I'm just going to give you an idea how it's done. No cheekbones right there. Right there. And the bridge of the nose. So the box shape actually helps out. If you want, you could do it this way, or you could use the box shape. All right, so let's do it using the regular box shape. Oops, a mistake here. There goes that dog again. Okay, All right. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing the box shape, I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm going to use the cross technique. This will be the eyebrow line here, the nose line, and the chin line would be around here. Now I can form the box shape. This will be the hairline right here. So I got the box shape right there. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start rendering the head, the shape of the, the face. Actually, it's actually the, you know, the contour of the, of the face of the, just make sure that's nice and level. If you want, you could do the mouth line, that way that'll help you indicate where that jaw is going to fall right there see so now I'm going to start working with the nose go up eye line and work with the eyebrows So I kind of find the the, um, the box shape is really, really uh, helpful. Actually helps me out better. Bridge of the nose, center of the nose, corner of the nose, the nostrils. Start doing the eyes. Vertical lines. Make 
that eye. Let me sharpen this a little better. And when you do the ears, you do a line like this. It actually helps out. Like that. Like. This be the hair. The outline of the hair. cheekbones like that let's say you draw the iris or maybe he's looking this way always remember that around where the iris is right here right here would be the corner of the mouth actually works out okay now we're gonna work with the uh, three-quarter view which is this now let me explain let's analyze this first before we start here okay as you can see this is a little bit different this is by Kelly Endington I don't know if you heard of her but she's very good she's sort of like an illustrator and uh, she draws faces pretty good so I actually did it, you know, actually um, uh, looked at her video and actually took notes pretty much how she did her uh, video. So, um, but I'm going to do it a little bit different than what she did. I usually change something out of everybody's method. So, so keep that in mind. So we have here a regular um, globe tech, you know, sort of like the globe circle method. And then we have here the um, the segments for the the oval here. So let me let me uh, pretty much let's start off. Let's start off because uh, it's better to actually illustrate this than explaining it. Of course, I'm going to explain it, but I'm going to actually illustrate it at the same time. So here we have circle. Sort of like the piece of that circle right there. And then we'll your line. And then we have the center for the face, vertical line. Then we indicate with the nose. It's usually underneath where the oval is over here. Right there. And the chin right there. Now, we'll do the jaw. Right there. That would be my jaw. Now, the next thing I'm going to start doing is the nose first. So, I'm going to actually connect the tip of the, the top of the nose here, right here where the center line is. And I'm not, I'm not going to bring it out too far. I'm just going to... Make sure if I want, I could use the triangle. That actually helps out too. Get there, the corner of the nose. This would be the bridge of the nose. And 
now the mouth. Draw a little bit better. Now I'm gonna work with the uh, eyebrows. I'm gonna make a line for the eye. Give me a bit, guys. Too much noise here. Okay, now finish off the ears. eyebrow here. And we can slice off this side of the face a little bit. First we're going to do actually the eyes. Bring it in. Just slice like that just a little. Then we'll do the cheek lines right there. So I think that worked out pretty well. It's not what I expected to be. Let's try this one right here. That's also her technique, so this is going to be a little bit different here. Let me do this in pencil first. Same process. Now, we work with the nose. And now we can slice off this part. And then this part right here. Okay, now we can start working with this eye. But first we want to make the line for the eye. Fix, start rendering the eye a little better. Sorry, the, the nose and go up. That would be my eye right there. And the other eye. So this one might be better. Even though there's so many ways of doing the three-quarter view, but I'm showing you this one because it's always good to try something new. So this might work for you guys, you never know. These pencils break very easy. Now we can work.
work with the eyebrows. This other eyebrow here. And work with the mouth. Always remember this side you're going to see less and this side you're going to see more. So the same thing with the eyes. And we could work with the cheekbones. Usually you should do the jaw first, but I usually actually want to work with the features first and then do the jaw better. It gives me a better understanding. But that's the way it's done. You, you actually do the jaw first and then... So that's why I'm always changing. Every time when I learn something, there's always something that I'm definitely going to change. Just in case you guys hear any background noise, it's just at this time, there's a lot of noise. I should have done this like late, like last night before I went to sleep. It was, I was off yesterday, so I got to work tonight. Unfortunately, it is what it is. So uh, next time I'll do a better video uh, late in the night. That way there won't be too much noise. But there's nothing I can do. It's just, you know, people are people. They do whatever they want. So. I could never uh, do that. Leave my dogs outside in the, in the heat. I could never do that. I If you're going to have a pet and you love your pet, you know, keep them inside, please. You know, it's like, because the heat is very, very intense out there. Okay, so yeah, that came out pretty good. I think... I think um, this technique actually works out pretty good, this one. Um, so you could do it this way, you know, just uh, really take your time when you're doing this. Because the three-quarter view, a lot of people have trouble doing the three-quarter view. So this one works out pretty good. So let's try it again anyway. Let's give it another shot. Let's use um, this way. And this time we'll do the jaw first and then let me fix this phone here so we can see it more better. Okay. Same thing, circle. with the Loomis method like always okay now we could do nose right here the chin there nose 
the mouth. Okay, now we can slice off this part right here. And this part. And we can work with the jaw. So this time we did the jaw. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus with the features now. And it's just um, get comfortable here because I like to get comfortable when I draw. And unfortunately, I don't have a drafting table. I'm working on my table, kitchen table. So it is what it is. side of the bridge of the nose, this side, do the planes also, and the eyebrow. And I just want to make sure that everything is all aligned, the proportions are okay. Now, first what I'm going to do is, I'm going to work with the, this side of the face first. that oval to indicate the shape where the mouth is going to end and then the chin now I can work with this side see I think that's better again I'm always changing it's not exactly how she did it but just said, sometimes I find a way that, well, let me try it this way. Let me try it this way instead of her way, you know. And there we have the ears right there. And if you want, add more shape in the back of the head. Just to give it that nice skull shape, you know. I think that works out pretty good. Right there. There you go. And the neck. There you go. See, I think that came out pretty good. All right, so let's try another one. Um, been doing some research let's try this one this is one that I saw by Serpino now Serpino what Serpino did was um, he didn't use a ball shape he didn't use lines I don't know how he did it but what he did was something like this and let me show you what he did he did the shape like that and the shape of the skull that's it that's what he did then after that, then he did the uh, eyebrow here. Then he did the nose. Then he did the mouth. After that, he did the cheekbones coming out this way. And then after that, of course, this is all visual effect. Then he did the eye. Now, if I want, I could do it this way, but I, I'd rather use a few lines and at least a ball shape and a few lines. But if you want, you can do it this way, people. I mean, you know, it's really it's up to you. But in a way, I don't think the proportions are going to be uh, the way I want it to be. You know, so that's the way he did it. I guess you would actually, you know, little by little fix it. You know, you can actually refine it better. So that's what he did. Now I'm gonna do it the way I'm going. To. I'm gonna use I'm gonna do use the circle method. Let's 
center line. That, that would be the center of my face. Eyebrow line, right there. And if I want, I could actually make just the eye line instead, but let's just do it this way for now. This will be the nose. And it's, it's gonna be sort of like, you know, using the Loomis method in a way. Okay. Then I'm gonna slice over here. This way I'm gonna bring in the socket shape right here. The cheek lines right here, the contour of the cheek lines here, all the way down to where the chin is. Do a hint of the mouth right there. Bring the jaw all the way back. And then little by little, visualize where that jaw is gonna be. But what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna work with the jaw. I'm not gonna do the end of the jaw. I'm just gonna leave it like that, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna change a little bit of his method. Okay, so I'm gonna do the eyebrow here. Bridge of the nose, I'm gonna make the eye line. Bridge of the nose. Work with the nose. Contour the nose. Triangle method. And then, just like I did in the other drawing, I'm gonna work with the cheekbones like that. Now this might work. And the eye right around here. And the other eye here. Just the mouth right there. Just make sure that mouth stays. See how it's more better by using a few lines? That's it. Just remember that this side is gonna be chopped off a little bit because no face is too round. The hairline, the temple part of the head. You can finish off the eyebrow and then do the temple if you want afterwards. And then the ears would be right here. So you can do it that way. So let's try this one again. Get some more paper here. Okay. I'm gonna do it this way again. the end of the jaw so that's a no-no I'm gonna just leave it like that for now so do the eyebrow on this side the bridge of the nose all the way to the bottom of the nose the other side of the bridge of the nose circle. Now I can do the cheek lines. Like that, see? And right here I go up. So I'm going to do this in a black. I see a red door and I want it painted black. Yes, I'm going to do this in black.
Get the shape. I'm leave this like that for now. Cheekbone. Now I can work with the eyes. There. This eye right there. And this eyebrow. Planes on the side of the eye. Then the temple part. You already have this part sliced, so you don't have to worry about this part right there. Then, little by little, you'll visualize where the ear line is going to be at. And the bottom of the jaw, because you've got the mouth lined up. So, so you've got an idea right there. So, you guys could use this technique... Or you could use pretty much the other ones that I've shown you. Like this one is pretty good. So let me show you what this one is about. It's using the oval. So the oval is almost like the Loomis method. You're sort of like slicing the face into three parts. But first, what you're going to do is you're going to do the eye line. The vertical line for the center of the face, of course. Then you're going to do a hint of the eye here. Then the other eye right here. Once you do that, you have the eyebrow line here, and you start seeing the nose line here, and you have the mouth line, and the chin line right there. See? So, after that, let me see. Let me see. One, two, four, five, six. Okay, you can start doing the, the planes right here. which is the, not the planes, actually the contour of the face. Then right here also, see? Which is the, the planes over here and the contour over here. And then you, sort of like a diamond shape, bring it all the way down. And so you go away this way. And the ear line would be around here. And straight down. Jaw straight down to the chin. Here we have the back of the head right there. So we have the eye. And we can start working with details of it's better the triangle method for the nose. There. Now You can use this if it, if you guys want. You can use this technique. It actually works out. All right. So let's give it another. Let's try this one. Sort of like using the box technique. But step, we're going to actually do this one. Sort of like Serpino, but we're going to actually uh, use the diamond shape. This will be the eyebrow line. Nose. The chin, right there. So the back shape, right there. After that, you do the uh, shape of the head. shape now you can start working with um, if you want to start with the nose first Go up, I would 
be the segments for my eyes right there bridge of the nose let me um i think there's too much light So what we did here, I'm going to do it in black now. We did sort of like the Serpino method. Like that. But we're shaping it into a box shape. Sort of like a, a rectangle shape. That's what we're doing. Let me make sure it looks more like a rectangle shape. This will be the hairline and this will be the top of the head. Then we'll start doing the shape of the head. And that. And then we'll do the eye line. The diamond shape. Sort of like a big V shape that goes like that. So that's what we're, do what we're doing right here, see? And then tiny vertical lines for the eyes. Bridge of the nose. You can work with the nose first and then work with the eyes then afterwards. It's whatever you guys want to do. would be great if you want to draw Conan this, this technique right here all right more like a comic book style face especially when you do these V shapes gives it a nice um, comic book style remember the segments from the eyes to the mouth okay so we have that one done let's do another one let's uh, work with another 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 this one right here I can't remember who I saw this from, but I just actually took note of it. I think it was from Google, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you how it's done. And all you, gotta, all you guys got to do is just follow the way I do it and then try it yourself to see if this is what you really like. If you can do this one, then practice it. But I think it works out. And this kind of reminds me of... Um, uh, Ron Tyner's technique, how to draw the Loomis method. Mouth right there. So we got, we got that. Let me see what's next. Now we'll do the side of the face. Slice over here. Bring this in. Huh? Yeah, right there. Then we do the cheekbones. Right here. Do the eye line. The side. Just measure this right here. Right around here. So we have an idea what we're doing. Right around here, once you have that oval right here, you'll 
you'll see the ear line. It's sort of like the Loomis method. Like that, see? Give it more shape. Then you can, you know, do the eyebrow here, then do this eye right here, this eye right here. And then once you have the shape of the nose, the corner of the nose right here, first work on the tip, the corner over here, then go up, and right here would be the eye. Once you have this whole line over here. So you have the eye right there. So this works out pretty good. You really gotta work with this one a lot. But if you want, like I said, you can change the technique. You can do it this way. Do the nose. The same thing. Do a hint of the mouth. And then you slice off over here. But at the same time, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna do the eyes right there, see? Make the line first. The corner of the nose go up. Then you do the eyes right there, see? So you could do it that way. And let's do this in pencil, in black pencil. Do the nose first, slice off, make a line for the eye, make the eyes, go up from the corner of the nose over here, make the eye over here. So there's so many ways of capturing the proportions just by visualizing, you know what I mean? Here's the eyebrow. And you could work, now you could work with the planes, the, the cheek line over here, right here, and then right here. So you could do it this way. This actually works out pretty good. And then you'll be able to see the ear line. So let me, um, let me do this here, smaller, so I have an idea what to do next time. Actually, you know what? Let me do another uh, another page here for a second. Then it's gonna be another technique. You see how it is like when you start working with a, a technique, you'll be able to actually identify a new way of forming the method. Just like I did right now, see? I kind of like the way I did it this time. And this is a good way, you know, what you do is, just like Loomis would do it and Romero did it, you do like two steps, step by step, you see? Do a step, you know, little by little, you'll do another sketch here. Then maybe there's another third sketch, but I'm gonna do this one more simple. Oh, it got dirty right there. Gee, I hate that. Okay, maybe I'm working too fast. I gotta take my time. Okay, I'm gonna do the nose first, right? Then the mouth, which is second. Right, so now I'm gonna start over here again, nose, again. That's how I do my uh, my step-by-step -step process. Then I do the mouth, right there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice this part right here, just like I did in the other drawing, and then this side right here. That's, that'll be the side of my face right there. And then a hint of the eyebrow. So this would be, this would be one, this would be two, and this would be three, and this would be four. Always number your step-by-step -step process. Trust me, it works. 
And let me do this in ink. That we I don't know how the hell I did that. Let me see if I can erase that. That sucks, hold on. Mm. It got smudged. I don't know, it was wet, I guess, the paper. So, that's how I do my step-by-step -step process. I actually take notes down, and if I find something interesting that I learned, that's the way I do it. And also, if I change it, if I discover a, a different way how to do it, I also kind of like take notes of it. So it's sort of like a scientist. I am so sure, and I'm willing to bet you that Andrew Loomis, uh, he probably considered himself like a scientist in drawing uh, heads and faces. I'm willing to bet you. This would be one the nose, two the mouth, the side of the head, the, the sliced part. This side would be four. And then, now I could do another one here. So here, I'm gonna do it a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. It looks like this one is a little bit messy here, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Cause I'm gonna do this in ink anyway. The eye line, the nose, the mouth, same process. And I'm gonna slice a bit. Oh my God, those planes. Let's wait till they pass. I'm gonna slice a bit right there. Maybe bring in the socket a little bit. The outline of the side of the face. And now I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna number them like over here, because it's just too much numbers. I'm gonna leave this the way it is, and then this one, what I'm gonna do is I got one, two, sorry, one, two, three, four. Now this is going to be five, and this is going to be six, see? Then say I have the corner of the nose done right here, this would be seven, this eye right here, see? To make it simple, I can make a line going this way. This line here that I did is gonna actually help me form the corner of the mouth. <coughs> now, once I have that eye done, um, I'll be able to finish the cheek lines here. Planes. There, see? Just like I did in the other drawing. Um, where was it? Well, anyway, it's gone, but it's, I'll find it later. So this one actually works out pretty well. Let me finish this in ink now. So what we're doing here, people, is analyzing and experimenting. Don't expect this to be finished is we're actually analyzing and believe it or not, this is the way Loomis does it and the way Romero does. Romero actually does it step by step in, in his videos. So that's what we're doing. We're analyzing and we're actually figuring out how, <coughs> excuse me, oh my God, this cough, um, how we can actually deal with all these mysteries and how to figure out how to draw the face. To me, drawing is like science and like sort of like a puzzle. You gotta figure it out little by little, putting all the pieces together, molding your face until you get it right. So what we're going to do is, well, well okay, we have the, this one would be number six, the eye here. This would be number seven, and this one would be number eight, and this one would be number nine. And then right here, 
we'll be able to see the ear line and that would be number 10. So try to number when you learn a technique, number every step-by-step -step process that you do. It's very, very important. That way, you can learn this real quick. Wow. Now that plane is like, sounds like it's like really low. Same length for the noses. Right there. So we have an idea what we did here. So, and we're just going to number this 10. Then the ear would be 11. So you see how I do my, um, my techniques, I number everything step by step. So this one, you could try it out. You could do it either the way I showed you here, or you can do it the way I showed you here. So you got so many ways of doing three quarter views. Okay, guys, let's go on. And we're gonna do this one using sort of like uh, shading, but we're gonna use sort of like the block method. So on this one, I'm definitely gonna glue afterwards. I'm going to save that for later. And we're going to use box shape again. And we're going to do a different approach. Um, rectangle method. Sort of like a box rectangle. So instead of doing the shape of the face, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working with the center, like the features, doing sort of like the sockets of the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and right here would be the chin right there, see? Let me just bring this line, uh, eyes a little bit downward. Just a little bit. There you go. Yeah, that's better now. Because this will be the eyebrows right here. So let's just make it like that better. And then just shade in over here. Like that. And then little by little, we'll do some shading for the cheekbones. Right there. And little by little, you're going to see the whole face start taking shape. Let's do this in black pencil here. See? So these eye sockets that I just did, which is sort of like shading in, and the nose, and the mouth, and the cheekbones, actually gives you good volume how to form the whole face. And then you start doing the shape of the face, you see? And that. So the box shape actually really works really good. You know, it, it's actually uh, very helpful and stuff, the box shape. All right, so let's do something else here. Work with something else here. We're gonna work with something else here. Let's try this one right here. This is Romero's method. And like always, I'm always changing something. Let me, uh, because my black pencil is almost finishing, so let's work with a thicker pencil here. Let's work with a thicker pencil. And then we'll do the rest in 
um, black pencil. Alright. Do make it a circle. And after this, we're just gonna have to call it the shots, which means we're gonna end it here and we'll continue another day because I already have too much storage on my phone. I mean, I don't have enough storage. So, I don't have one of those really good phones. All right, this one is gonna be a little bit different. We'll do the nose again. Oh, we start off with the nose. And we'll do, if you wanna do the mouth, and then we'll do the side of the head, the side of the face, and we indicate where the corner of the nose, where that eye is gonna be at, the end of the eye. This time we're not gonna do the eye starting here. If you want, you could do it that way. Then right here would be the oval, see, right here will be the oval right here, which is gonna be the, that chopped part of the face. Hairline right here, and then the jawline would be around here. See? Now, you can start, you know, working with the features, Those eyes. Eyebrows. Bridge of the nose. Mouth. Let's make a mustache on this dude. Bottom of the lip, chin. You see, he's looking on the corner of his eye. Now you could work with the contour of the face to the chin. And if you want, you can make the hairline really high because this is going to look like an old man, an old person, an older guy. Cheekbones. I'm not going to fin finish the whole thing because there's, there's so much stuff I want to show you guys. So you have an idea how to do this one. Actually works out. All right, guys, we're, we're going to stop here and then we'll continue because I still got some more stuff to show you from this book that I did. So anyway, good luck with your artwork and keep practicing.